Hi, you have most likely met such a quest, and you might have questions and problems. In this video, we'll tell you in detail how to complete such a quest. And before we start, I want to say on a way that these tasks take a lot of time if you are new to outpost construction and resource extraction. And I will also add that these quests are not worth the time spent on them. You will get very little experience and credits for completing these quests. Therefore, it is better to think several times before starting such a quest. To complete my quest, I need to deliver vanadium. To do this, I need to find a planet that has not only vanadium, but also helium-3, since it will be needed for the functioning of cargo link between solar systems. If there is no helium on the planet, you can look for another planet with helium in the same solar system. To extract helium on this planet, send it to the planet with the resource necessary to complete the quest, and send it to the planet where the delivery of this resource is required. Therefore, it is better to immediately look for a planet that has the necessary resource and helium-3. In my case, on this planet, I failed to find a place where there would be both vanadium and helium-3, so I will build two outposts on this planet and will transport helium from one outpost to another, and from this, I will already send vanadium. To begin with, I'm starting vanadium mining and building cargo links to receive helium and send vanadium. I would like to stop here and tell you more about these cargo links. A regular cargo link is needed to transfer resources between outposts located in the same system. Cargo link inter-system is needed in order to transfer resources between outposts that are located in different systems. In the control console, we can immediately set the path for sending resources. Here, you can see all the available outposts and planets for the exchange of resources. I have two contracts with Alpha Centauri, Jameson, but from here, we'll only ship Vanadium to New Atlantis. We choose this path and confirm the connection of these points with each other. It shows which resource is required by the buyer, and here it shows which resource we are sending. Be sure to check if everything is configured correctly, otherwise nothing will work. In order to start sending exactly the resource that you need, you need to assign a transfer of resources to the outgoing container. Now, I'll show you how to do it. By the way, the first ship has already arrived for the goods. From the mining stations, I send vanadium to the storage facilities. From these storage facilities, I send vanadium to another intermediate storage, and from this storage, I assign the transfer to the outgoing container. You cannot build intermediate storages, but immediately send the resource from the mining stations to the outgoing container. I do this for my own convenience so as not to delete the supply line separately from each miner. Now, I will build a cargo link to receive helium, which will turn on the cargo link enter system, and the transmission will begin. Now, I'm moving to another outpost on the same planet where I have helium mining and am building a cargo link to transfer helium to the outpost where vanadium is mined. Here, the helium is sent to the gas storage and from there to the outgoing container on cargo link. Now we assign the transfer of helium to the outpost with vanadium. Now, it send the incoming helium from to the gas storage, and from there, send it to cargo link to turn it on, and the vanadium transfer has finally begun. Now, I'm going to fly to New Atlantis and see how the vanadium is delivered. To do this, I need to skip a little time. It all depends on how far the outpost with the resource is from the point of arrival. The task is completed, but as you can see, the reward is not worth your attention at all. I had to spend more than two hours to complete this quest, even taking into account the fact that I have more than 10 outposts with all the necessary resources.
I have already completed more than 30 orders of various resources, including rare manufactured ones, which required a bundle of more than five outposts in one chain. I was just hoping to get a better contract, but there are no such at the moment. I hope in future patches the developers will change the reward and completing these quests will be worth the time and money spent. If you still have questions or something is not working out for you, please write in the comments and maybe the next video will be just for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It motivates me to create such content. I wish you good health and good luck.